The name of the project is Island. We were interested in playing in the playing with the kind of two senses of what an island can be. An island can be a sanctuary, a kind of safe ground that people can escape to or be welcome to, but an island can also be a kind of a fortress. It can be a, a isolated place which uh, doesn't allow foreign ships to dock. In 2018, in the context of what's happening in Britain now, but also in other countries, it was a kind of obvious uh, response, a kind of critical response to the idea of free space. But in practical terms, what we did is we covered the British Pavilion in scaffolding. So when you come up the axis in the Giardini, you're not sure if the pavilion is being renovated or if it's closed maybe. And then you come closer and you can go into the pavilion and it's completely empty and there's a little bit of residue from the Philida Barlow show from the Art Biennale. Maybe you notice that there's a big stair going up to the roof and you go up the stair and again it's just a normal scaffolding stair and then you emerge into this space and this is a kind of completely new free space at the head of the Giardini. And it's intended to be completely a generous gesture from Britain to the visitors to the Biennale and to the other participants of the Biennale. The idea of island, it's about Britain being an island and Venice being made up of islands, but it's also the peak of the roof of the pavilion is like an island which is breaking the horizon of this piazza surface. And that's the idea, it's very simple. The Brit we found out that the British Pavilion is actually built on the highest piece of land in Venice. I don't know why, but it is. It used to be a tea pavilion, and then it was turned into the British Pavilion at the end of the 19th century when the Biennale started. And so this platform is an even higher public space in Venice. We invited all of the other participants in the Biennale to use the space in the pavilion and on top of the pavilion and a lot of people have taken up our offer and schools will be doing program here and we have also set up a program of concerts and theatre and dance and lectures and things like that which are starting tomorrow with the opening when Kate Tempest will perform a concert. So really our intention is to be generous uh, and the British Council's intention is to be generous. Um, but I think even the image of the pavilion under scaffolding, there's this ambivalence which we're interested in.